Part two of cleaning the Ninja Foodi 8-in-1 digital air fry oven. This appliance is still frustrating to clean. The Ninja is frustrating to clean, but it has become my most favorite appliance all time. Because it has eight functions, I use this machine at least five times a week from toasting bagels to using the air fryer. It's in the summertime, instead of heating up the whole kitchen, I just use it. It's big enough to, to bake something in it, toast things. It's just a wonderful, wonderful appliance. So in my first video, I show how to clean the ceramic pan of the Ninja. But in all honesty, I don't use the ceramic pan half the time. I just use the, the air fry function the most. So I got the air fryer because I wanted to be healthy and I don't deep fry anything anymore. So on the left picture there is store bought avocado oil and these are great. They're also a little expensive if you're spraying stuff all the time like you've cut up some sweet potatoes you want to put them in there. Okay. It's also hit or miss on these canisters because sometimes the nozzle sprays everywhere. Sometimes it's like a rocket. It's just hit or miss. So the best thing I can tell you to do is to buy a oil sprayer. And this one that I've, I'm showing, I'm going to put the link below in the comments. Uh, you can change the nozzle. So if you need a heavy spray, you need a mist, whatever it may be, it really helps out. The other tip is I open the door to the air fryer and I'm spraying stuff into the machine. There's less mess on my counter, but then I'm going to have to clean up the machine, and I'm going to show you how to do that in, in a minute. The other thing is buy grapeseed oil uh, because it has a really high smoke point. If I put olive oil on it, uh, it has a low smoke point. It burns my food sometimes, and grapeseed and avocado oil are much healthier than the other types of oil that you can get. So I try to pull out the drip pan on the bottom of the machine every seven to 10 days. But after using it five or six times a week, this is what it looks like because I'm spraying the oil into the pan and then I'm cooking it at, at 900 degrees or whatever really the equivalent of 390 degrees air fry is. And it just is this sticky, baked on, gross mess and it's just a pain to get off. So the ceramic pan and the magic erasers are a magical combo, but it doesn't work for the drip pan. It just doesn't work. So I really didn't want to use chemicals. So in my search to find something natural, easy to clean, the first thing I tried was baking soda and vinegar. It did a decent job, but it left a lot of food debris left on there. So I moved on. So I went out into the garage and I got my favorite grill cleaner, Popular Mechanics KH7 stuff for um, stainless steel. This is awesome and it's for food grade cleaning. However, on the back, the fine print says you can't use it on aluminum and that's what the drip pan is. So I moved on. So I looked under the sink and I found some stove and oven cleaner that I had. And then I read the fine print and I don't know if I'm ever going to use this in my regular oven or the Ninja because it's just so many chemicals. So I went to the store and looked in the cleaning aisle and I chose some SOS pads and I brought them home and they worked magic. Now I did not scrub very hard. I was very gentle because I didn't want to get the steel wool to like make some intense marks on the bottom. But after about 10 to 15 minutes of scrubbing, it worked. And this is what the final results look like. It's not um, a new looking Ninja Foodie like their, their video, uh, but it does look like I've attempted to clean it and it's a well used, loved machine. Thanks for watching. Please press like, subscribe, and comment on what you'd like to see me clean next. Thanks.